ahead. So I thought I would bring to today's practice um, just a little bit of myofascial release, just some self-massage for an area that we're going to work today. Okay, so welcome to the practice. Let's go ahead and start in a forearm tabletop here. Perfect. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, just drop your head and close your eyes and feel your baseline. Notice how the body feels, the emotional landscape, the mental landscape. Just begin to breathe gently behind anything that's here, not pushing it away or resisting any adverse feelings, just breathing through them and resolving to take care. My intention is not to overthink this practice or overanalyze, but just to feel something, to experience. So if you'd like to set that as in your intention, please do so now. If not, resolve to intent for something else. Breathing it in and exhaling it all the way. Raise the head up and just bring your right forearm across so that it is right across parallel with the knife edge of your mat. Take your left knife edge of forearm and cross it right over your little elbow joint here. And we'll start to put a little bit of weight in a seesaw motion here, investigating perhaps even in a circular motion this tiny little muscle here in the forearm. You guys feel that at all? Okay, if you find a spot that feels good, awesome. Stay there and breathe. If you still wanna investigate a little further down the forearm, back or forward, please allow yourself time to be just really intuitive today. And we are actually opening this spot because we'll be working it a little bit today. So if you're like, why am I massaging my forearm? That is why you're massaging your forearm. Great. Give it about five more seconds. Compassionately just breathing into these tissues. And then slowly come back to neutral. Drop your head and feel the difference. Perhaps you sense a different temperature. Sometimes people say they feel a spaciousness or a warmth. And do know that if you feel nothing, that's a valid experience as well. Let's take the other side. Parallel your left forearm to the top of your mat. Take your right knife edge of your forearm into the break right above the elbow, yeah, right at the elbow there. And you'll notice right away that this is a different muscle. This is a different side. And there might not be the same landscape underneath the skin. Does anyone feel a difference, Hannah? You feel it? Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. So this muscle is called the brachial radialis. You don't need to know that. But it's like the sexy forearm muscle here. <laughs> and then just to breathe in one spot, make sure that the breath is not held or resistant, but is open to this experience. I find myself, I learn so much about yoga. I do so many, you know, book readings and all these things that sometimes I don't let myself just be in the magic of the moment. And so that's what I really hope for you today is that along with me, we can recommit to just being in the magic of yoga instead of overthinking giving it five more seconds if you want to add a little bit of movement here. And then just come back to neutral. Drop your head and feel. Perfect. Let's come into broken toe pose. Sit back onto your heels. I'll block Steve here for a moment. Don't worry, Steve, I'll be out of your way in no time. And your toes are tucked under if uh, that is something that you can do. Rest your hands lightly on your thighs and we'll start with some pelvic tilts. 
So we'll just be doing like a little cat cow, but simply starting from the base. So on your inhale, just take your tailbone back away from you toward the wall behind you. And on your exhale, tuck the pelvis under and bring that tailbone up. Awesome. Inhale, rock it back. And exhale, tuck it under and through. Now take a couple more on your own and just invite little increments up the spine to come with it. So maybe now the low back starts to come with these pelvic tilt cow cows as you stabilize and stay still through the upper body. And then on these last few, invite perhaps the upper back and the shoulders. And finally then the neck, coming into those full cat cows and moving that precious prana or chi or energy upward through the spine. Inhale, arms high, stretch it out. Exhale, standing forward, fold. Breathe here just for a moment. Allow yourself to drape all the way down. Perfect. Normally we come to a ragdoll posture here, but what I'd like you to feel is the difference between what we usually do and maybe a few little tweaks. Drop your head, let your ears swim away from, from the spinal column. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, gather your feet together, fold back in half. On your next breath in, just bend your left knee to bring your heel into your glute. Your knees will stay matched together. You're folded forward and you've simply bent into your left knee. Breathe into your right hamstring here. Nice big old hamstring stretch. And we feel this, yes? Okay, wanna make sure. If you don't feel it, that's okay, okay too, but you can always temper the sensation. Let's bend, twist, and open through our top leg here. Left leg comes up, open, and just investigate. Yeah, almost like you do when you were in a three-legged dog. Keep the head dropped if you'd like to extend through your knee joint. Roll out through your ankle. You are more than welcome to. Inhale, standing split. And exhale, release to forward folds. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold all the way back down. Breathe in, bend into your other knee and stay. Again, knees match. You're kind of like a flamingo here is what I feel like when I come into this posture. I'm just sensing what's here. It's very cold here in Iowa today. And so stiffness in hamstrings is what I've been seeing in students. Go ahead and bend, twist, and open your top leg. Start to feel your hip joints open, maybe the expanse between the front hip bones. If you would like to extend the leg all the way and open it up, maybe take a little twirl through any of the other joints downstream, feel free to. Breathe in, standing split, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, forward fold. Let's get flowing a little bit here. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, a high plank pose. Breathe in, releve all the way to the tips of the toes. Exhale, lower all the way down. Prepare for uh, full cobra, actually. On your breath in, let's just test full cobra. See how you feel. Knees stay on that. And exhale, wrinkle all the way back down. Breathe in, high plank pose. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right leg through for low lunge. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, a half split. Let's try that two more times now. As you inhale, press forward, look up, open through left psoas. As you exhale, just feel the opposite sensation. Last time, inhale. 
exhale. Breathe in full plank pose. Exhale, lower with care all the way to your yoga mat. Breathe in full cobra pose. Up, 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 up. Exhale, melt. Breathe in high plank. Exhale, down dog. Step your left leg through. Back knee down. Inhale, press forward. Broaden through your chest. And exhale, wrinkle back into half split. Let's try that two more times at your own pace. I like to keep my breastbone really close to my left knee. And I know I don't have to straighten my left leg all the way to feel something, right? It's more about how it feels and how it looks. Okay, let's inhale to high plank together. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Gorgeous options. Inhale, full cobra pose. How does it feel differently than up dog? Exhale, release. Breathe in full plank posture. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's breathe here. (laughs) This is like a magical posture, isn't it? Such a nice inversion, such a good reset and recalibration for our system. I have a brother-in-law who produces films in Hollywood. And I remember at one point he told me that it was really hard for him to enjoy watching films because he was so in his head about the editing or the continuity, what was happening behind the scenes. And there's lots of pockets in your life where, like, you know how the sausage is made, right? You've seen how the sausage is made. (laughs) Um, And and you're a little too analytical about it. Yoga is about shutting this off. People have been doing this practice for way longer than we've had scientific backup for any of these things. And yet they knew the power. They felt the power. They lived in the magic. And that's what we're doing right here, right now. Head off. Mind off. Breath on. Breathe in, lift your right leg, bend, twist, and open through your top knee. Exhale, knee to tricep, and breathe here. Yes, <laughs> you've got this. You can always lower to your back knee if you need to. Breathe in, three legged dog. Exhale, other tricep, live here for a couple of breaths. There we go. Nice, Hannah. Nice, Steve. Woo. There is a little bit of a shake. That means we're touching something inside the body. Breathe in, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, straighten your legs sweetly. Keep your back heel popped up and just breathe here with straight legs. It's a little bit of a pyramid pose variation and it's meant to be just a hair more compassionate than full pyramid pose. Breathe into your straight legs. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, warrior two. And pause. And Hannah, you've got that bar right by you for bar class. If you ever feel like you need to come up a little bit, I can stay my six feet away from you. So know that you're totally able to adjust your mat if you need. Sense how much tension is in your shoulders right now and perhaps up through your neck. Notice if you need to kind of shrug, shrug that down a little, down the back, let it settle. Breathe in. Breath out, extended side angle. Breathe here, imagining a support system behind you and just kind of letting yourself fall gently back into that support. And that support is you. You're strong enough to catch yourself here. Allow yourself to deepen. I know it can be... um, tempting to cheat yourself of an experience, especially when no one can see you and and hold you accountable. But I'd like you to hold yourself accountable here in this experience, not to cheat it at all. Exhale together. Breathe in reverse warrior. Pause. Now, what where Steve's gaze is down and back is where mine is all the time when I do reverse warrior. Notice how just even that slight thing, that, that picking a different drishti or gaze, can change your experience. Very grounding to look down. Breathe in. 
Breath out, plank, lower to your belly, all in the same breath. We'll take full cobras today instead of chaturangas. Breathe in, straighten your arms, look up, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Breathe in, left leg up, bend, twist, and open. Watch out for the bar, Hannah. Exhale, knee to tricep. Breathe here. I want that little bit of a shake, and I'd like you to get really spongy through your fingertips so you feel like you can grip something. Yes, gaze forward optimistically. There we go. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, other tricep. Stay and breathe. Feel how that belly can pull in right above the belly at rectus abdominis. Just suck that in there. It'll help you. Take an exhale. Breathe in, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge. Breathe in, straighten your legs, and just stay to breathe. Back heel is still up. That way when we flow, you don't have to adjust your back leg at all. And much like Rachel, like a, a little break in your front knee, um, I always have that just because it helps to temper sensation. I feel like I'm in control instead of the posture being in control. Breathe into your stretch. Breath out, low lunge, please. Breathe in, warrior two. Five long breaths. I have a long history with anxiety. And, you know, I don't experience it much anymore. But once in a while, I have these tiny, tiny little flare ups where I'm like, oh, no, here's this old feeling coming back again. And your natural reaction to adverse experiences is to push them away. Breathe in. Breath outside, angle, continue to breathe. And what I found is that all experiences are teachers. It doesn't matter if they're adverse, if they're pleasurable. We don't attach ourselves to the pleasurable experiences and shoo away the adverse ones. We, we listen to them. We see what wisdom there is behind that experience. And when we're able to allow ourselves to relax behind an experience, to welcome it, whatever it is, we see how strong we really are. Not only do we get the lessons, but we see what we're really made of. Exhale, breathe in reverse warrior, five breaths. And you know, every time that I come into that adverse experience with whatever sort of anxiety I'm feeling, it's never permanent. I watch it, I sit with it, I see it as separate from myself, right? It's just something I'm going through, it's not me. And eventually it goes, breathe in, breath out, plank and lower down, just like that hold, see it's over. <laughs> Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, sun salutation, letter B, it should feel good. Breathe in, right leg elevates, please. Exhale tricep. Breathe in, kick back. Exhale, other tricep. Breathe in, elevate. Exhale, lunge, please, very softly. Inhale, straighten into the tissues first. And exhale, low lunge, sink back in. Breathe in, warrior two. Breath out, extended side angle, maybe a little deeper version this time. Breathe in, arc into reverse warrior, crunch into your left oblique. Exhale, lower yourself prone to your mat. Breathe in, back bend. Breath out, downward dog. Breathe in, left leg. Exhale, tricep a little higher there, challenge yourself. Breathe in, elongate. And exhale, twist to the other side. Breathe in, kick up. Exhale, lunge. Breathe in, straighten your legs, look back towards your pelvic bowl. Exhale, stick low, lunge firm. Breathe in, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Breathe in, cobra. Feel your knees settle as you broaden and exhale, downward facing dog. 
Starting it over again, inhale, kick up. Exhale, knee to tricep. Breathe in, kick up, lower your left heel. Exhale, other side. Breath in, kick up. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, straighten your legs, test those tissues. Exhale, low lunge from up your inner thighs. Breathe in, warrior two. Breath out, extended side. Breathe in, reverse warrior. Exhale, plank and lower to the ground. Knees, chest can hit first, whatever feels best. Breathe in, take your back bend, full breath. Breath out, lower all the way back down. Breathe in, come up and exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, other side. Exhale, tricep, last time here for a while. Breathe in, up. Exhale, other tricep. Breathe in, kick long. Exhale, plant in between your hands. Breathe in, elongate. Exhale, low lunge. Breathe in, warrior two. I hear the breath. I know this is amplifying your heart rate. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse. Exhale, finish this out. This side all on your own. Go all the way to prone. And then just feel in your down dog what's happening here in between the ears and the head space. <laughs> A wise man once said that experience is the only thing of value that is widely distributed. And I thought about it. It's so true, isn't it? We all can learn from our own experiences if, if we're open to them. Breathe in, lift your heels. Exhale, bring your knees to a hover and then come all the way down and around onto your seat for boat pose. I'll do it with you, you guys. Sound good? Okay, we'll go through a little flow here. Breathe in, boat pose. Exhale, low boat pose. Breathe in, half boat, hands to heart, bend your knees. Here's the change. Exhale, grab your feet. Breathe in, bound boat. Exhale, release, low boat. Breathe in, half boat, hands to heart. Exhale, bind. Breathe in, bound boat. You can just extend to your liking. Exhale, low boat. Breathe in, half boat. And exhale, bind. Continue at your own pace. The slower we go, the more I actually can tune into what I feel. Last round here. And the next time that you are in low boat, we will stay in low boat. Breathe here, make a really sexy double chin. I know you all want to. Okay, and I'd like you to press your two big toe mounds together and look in between your toes. Breathe in, exhale, lower all the way to your belly, or excuse me, to your back. <laughs> Breathe in, take your right leg up the wall, climb up your right leg toward your ankle, lift your shoulders, and exhale, lower everything back down. Other side, inhale, left leg, Climb it like a little cute koala bear all the way up. And then exhale to lower. Continue in this kind of back and forth sort of crunch situation and lift your tailbone at the end. So you lift it up the ground, even just like a little milli inch. I want you to feel that extra little something there. And perhaps when you release, you let that tailbone rock back the other direction and get into some of those, those sexier, lower stabilizing muscles there. Stability is sexy, right? I think it is. Whatever. <laughs> but I teach yoga for a living, so what do I know? <laughs> Next time, 
let's do one more each side. And then the next time after that, that you're on the right, we'll just do tiny pulses to the outside of your right leg. So just reaching to that outside, tiny pulses. And just reach toward the outside so you're not hanging on to anything. You're just kind of reaching, whoo, tiny, tiny pulses there. There you go. Short little puffs of air out the nose or mouth and lift the tailbone on every little pulse. Let's switch our sides over to the other side now. Tiny pulses. And as we twist, we're just finding a little bit different sensation here. What's here on this side? Can you activate your tailbone and make this a whole torso sort of crunch? Great job, you guys. Perfect. Breathe in. Breath out. Just melt down. <laughs> Relax into a pose of your choice. And we'll round out our core series with just some flowy back bends. If you would rather take something else, this is your experience. This is not my experience. I'm, I'm teaching. That's my experience. But whatever you would like in your body, if you'd rather take a wheel pose or something, you're more than welcome to. If you'd just like me to cue you, I'll cue you through some flowing bridges. Plant your feet, take an exhale, all 10 toes toward the top of your mat. Inhale, bridge pose as high as you can get. And exhale, lower the upper back, the mid back, your low back, your sacrum, and then your tailbone. Breathe in, come all the way back up, bridge pose. Exhale, wrinkle down the same way with that cat-like back. We'll take a few more of those. Relax your toes. I see a lot of people with their toes engaged and up. See if you can be nice and firm through all parts of your feet here. Let's just take one more, really scrunch it at the top. Use the back body to elevate your heart space and open you up. Exhale, come all the way back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll forward and back gently until you come to standing forward fold at the top of your mat. How we doing? Everyone's good? Yeah. Very nice. We got a little sweat going in here. We got some sun too. I love it. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale forward, fold. Let's go ahead and inhale, left knee bends, and go ahead and bend your, uh, your leg all the way open into standing split. As you exhale, plant your hands Oh, I'd say a good foot or two in front of you and look forward. Raise toward the ball of your right foot. Let's just do some handstand practice here. Just little hops. We're not going toward handstand today. We're just firing up and feeling that stability here. So know that these can be as small as I was just doing them to get a little bit of heat going. Or if you're super into handstand and there's nothing breakable behind you, awesome, maybe you do a handstand. Very nice. Inhale and exhale, pyramid pose. Breathe. Mm. You just did a lot of work. You might even feel a warmth cascade over your upper body here. Uh, and you've done a lot of work up there. So just let it kind of hang down, almost as though your pelvic bowl were a cup and it could just pour the contents of your torso out and forward. Allow your head just to droop. Whew. I love how Steve is using a strap. You've got household items. Even if you don't have a yogic strap, you've got a dish towel. I'm certain of it. So grab something. And that's a really nice broadening, not only emotionally for your heart space, um, but also just for those shortened muscles from sitting at computers, looking at our phones. Take a gentle twist. This does not have to be crazy. On your exhale, find your left hand somewhere on your right shin. 
And then on your inhale, let's just twist up and over to the right. So your right leg is forward and your left leg is back. <laughs> Good. Awesome. Now notice your ability to, like a lot of us are doing right now, take your top hand to your sacrum and pull your elbow back in space to broaden through this front side of the shoulder. That feels really, really nice in my body. Breathe in, breath out, come back down through pyramid. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Breathe in, bend into your other knee, bring it up into your glute like that hamstring stretch we did and then extend it all the way up into the air. Get good form and stability through the entirety of your spinal column. Let's just take five handstand hops around that. Drop your foot back or walk your hands forward, protract your shoulders forward and just play with space here. I know in my body, I will never, ever probably, I don't know, I, I'm not interested in holding or working toward holding a handstand for longer than five, 10 seconds. But it can still teach me something. It actually teaches me a lot. And it gets my entire body to start learning a new pattern, a new way of being. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, pyramid pose. How are we feeling, you guys? <laughs> Respiration is up. Good. It can be interesting, too, because there's a couple of people in this room who have gone through our teacher training. <laughs> and when you start to look deeper down a rabbit hole of something, it um, can be easy to get lost, lost in the weeds and the specifics. Once in a while, you just have to let yourself enjoy exactly how you feel. Not wonder where we're going next. <laughs> really presence yourself. There's little twitches in the body. Can you feel those? Where are they? Can you actually feel any of that musculature, those muscle spindles, or those connective tissues lengthening? Can you feel a beat anywhere in your body? I know I can. I can feel my heartbeat especially during power yoga. As you exhale, invite your right hand somewhere up and down your left shin, perhaps a block, something stable. Inhale to test into a nice twist here. And let's breathe. Find elongation before your twist. And if you're someone who always goes full throttle, you're always 150% in a posture, Back off just a hair and see how there's subtleties in the experience. Does where your tailbone is at, tucked, untucked, or neutral, inform this experience at all? Hmm. Breathe in. Breath out, pyramid pose. Breathe in, standing split. Exhale, forward, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your left foot. And take your time to come all the way to standing hand-to-foot pose. I'll go to the side so you can see this from the side. But remember, eons ago, we massaged out that muscle, <laughs> that sexy forearm muscle. Now we are going to use it. So as you start to extend forward or possibly up, go ahead and find where you want to be. And then I'll ask you to take a break in your elbows, okay? So once you've gotten there, instead of just straightening your arms, pull back on your foot so that you get this like He-Man sort of situation. You know, when people are showing off their muscles in competitions and you see that break in their elbows, this will activate your bicep and the sexy little muscle here. So now we're working it, working it, working it. And this is really hard work. So if you need a pause, you're more than welcome to take that pause. Perhaps elevate, 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 get a little taller. On your next exhale, bring your knee into your chest, just your left hand to your foot, right hand to your side. And let's just test out to the side now. And from here, you see I have a straight limb here on my left, left arm bone. 
if I just take a little break in it and I pull back ankle toward ear, I get that activation of those, those muscles there. How does this change our normal hand to foot posture? How do you feel? Let's slowly come all the way down. Ah, I feel that my right hip is gonna be sexier tomorrow for sure. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Grab your other foot. Breathe in, slowly come all the way up to a stand. And then just flirt, play, immerse yourself. Have a conversation with this posture. And when you get to where you feel pretty good, doesn't matter how straight your leg is or what else is going on, just go ahead and take that little break in your elbows, pull your foot back towards your body, activate, and find a good place for your tailbone because that will also inform how much sensation is in standing hand to foot posture. You guys are rock stars. I hear you breathing. I see you. I have not forgotten about you. Awesome. You'll know when it's time to go into your outer version. Left hand will come to left hip. If you're sweaty, it can be almost like a slippery fish to hang on to your hand. So you might need a, like a shortened dish towel situation there. I like how short Rachel's strap is there. That's really nice. Sometimes I see people with too much slack and there's just no integrity in that posture. Pull up towards your ear just a little bit more. Yes. Can tailbone drop back away from heel? Ooh, slowly bend into your knee. Bring it back to center and fold all the way back down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. I feel like when things are more rare, <laughs> they're more valued. Yes, does that feel good? Finally, chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew. Okay, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to tricep. Breathe in, right leg high. Exhale, knee to other tricep. Breathe in, high. Exhale, half pigeon. Breathe. And today, if it feels good, when you come down to thread the needle and just take left arm underneath right armpit and go to sleep on your right forearm bone, uh, we will work the shoulders one more time before the end of class. And allow yourself to drop into the here and now, whatever is here and now. I'll be very honest with you. If I never did a half pigeon again, I would be super happy about it. <laughs> But it's not painful for me when I go there. And so I know that maybe it's something I, I should be doing. And I do. I, I don't allow myself to skip it anymore just because I don't like it. I stay. I listen. And even though the experience is not super awesome, like massaging my forearm to me and my experience, it teaches me something about myself, it teaches me patience. And the sensation actually teaches me to be present and non-reactionary to things I don't like. Okay, come with me for one last adventure. Are you ready? Come up onto your palm. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. On your exhale, we're going to do jump switch kicks to the left leg in downward facing dog. Good. So elevate to the ball of your foot, press into all 10 fingers. And next time you're on your left leg, stay for the inhale. Exhale, half pigeon pose. Oh, no, actually, knee to tricep. 
you guys were going to let me skip that, weren't you? Inhale, three-legged. <laughs> Exhale, knee to other tricep. Oh, I would have felt so badly. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, now half pigeon. Okay, now we stay. <laughs> I would have been driving home and been like, no. We can't publish that on YouTube anymore. <laughs> People will be uneven. <laughs> Thread the needle if you did on the other side. Drop in. Yeah, I could edit. She said I could edit a little clip in. Mm -hmm. Those days are over. I used to edit all my videos. If you look on my website, everything was edited, voiceovered. Not with COVID, not with the rate that we got to produce things now. <laughs> I'll give you a little visual here that I think is pretty helpful. And just have you imagine your hip complex all around as one heavy chunk of ice. Easy to imagine with the conditions we've got outside right now. And just let the outer edges begin to melt. They drip away from the core of the form. At a very slow pace, if you've ever watched ice melts underneath the sun, it's just molecule by molecule beginning to come down. And if you listen close enough, sometimes you can actually feel the change in the body. Or in the mind, man, I took a couple of just deep cleansing breaths the other day and it totally changed my outlook. It's amazing. There's magic within simplicity. A couple more breaths. Perhaps even that visual for your shoulders from ice to water. I think we all know where we're going next. So in about two to three breaths here, I'd like you to mentally prepare for just as many switch kicks as you did on the other side. And I don't want any calls about anything broken in your house because my insurance does not cover that, okay? So make sure you've got ample room. And then very slowly come up, extend your left leg up and back. Let's just do our last little bit of work. Switch kicks to the other side of three-legged dog. Stable through your core. Perfect. When you're done, come to downward dog. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, bend your knees to a hover, and then bring them all the way down to the ground. Let's come into seated, wide-legged forward folds. We'll start here. As you breathe in, get really tall, look towards your right toes, and exhale, just to crawl heart out toward toes. And pause. Drop your left hip back. Drop your chin in toward your chest. Noticing the places that feel really good on any level. Maybe your spirit feels awesome. <laughs> Maybe emotionally you feel better than where you were 40 minutes ago. Who knows? But just notice, appreciate how your work impacts you so quickly. Exhale. Breathe in. Walk all the way back up. Orient your heart towards your other set of toes. Exhale. Forward fold over your other leg. Breathe, drop your right hip down and back. Let your legs be heavy. Just 
and allow your breath to feel and expand into the back. And slowly exhale here. Breathing, come all the way up. Snap your feet together. Exhale, low boat. Oh, yeah, we're doing this now. Low boat. Stay for a couple of breaths here. You've got this. Breathe in. Exhale, halfway down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're almost to your back, so you've got this. Breathe in. Exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Take one huge breath in. Open mouth, exhale, Shavasana. Relaxing behind the magic of feeling. I invite you to swallow, to smile, to take a large inhale and a very long body stretch. And as you bring your hands over your heart space and take an exhale, really take a moment of gratitude for yourself for doing the discipline. We can read about things all day long. We can intellectualize things as much as we like. But if we're not embodying the philosophy and practicing, we do not know truly what we're reading about. So bring this into any part of your life where you feel a little overanalyzed and a little less in the moment. And perhaps if you're on the other side and you do a whole lot of feeling and experiencing Without discernment, you find balance in that way as well. Thank you so much for entrusting me with your practice. Namaste. I'd like to say thank you to Hannah, to Steve, and to Rachel for being awesome and being here. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.